Hey everyone, it is me, Teen Tien, and I'm back with another episode on the TaskCraft server. It is episode 12. 12. Um, and today I have some bad news, as you may already see, because my inventory has very, very little tools in it, and my armor is not enchanted. I lost everything. Uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, basically everything. Uh, my All my tools, because I was stupid. Um, and a lot of blocks, shulkers, food... Stuff like that. Um, I have everything at my base that I kept. Uh, but basically what happened is I got this. And to get that, obviously you have to kill the wither. Um, I was I was stupid while killing the wither. Um, and I died. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so basically what happened if we go down here. Um, the way I kill the wither is I basically just dig a 1x2 tunnel. Oh, hello. Um, and... Yeah, it typically ends up going quite easily, actually. Um, and yeah, but this time I just found this cave and I was like, oh, okay. Well, what if we just, uh, uh, what if we just, um, you know, put him in there and I'm sure it will be fine. Uh, so I did that and it wasn't fine, obviously. <laughs> um, yeah, basically I got pretty, I got really, really, really close and I was like, okay, I can finish him off here. I, I got this. And I got him down to like basically a few hits away, and then I ended up dying, which I was really shocked about. Uh, I didn't. I was hoping that he wouldn't blow up my items, uh, but then I realized that I actually downloaded the graveyard to add a pack because it was requested. You know, people were dying, losing their stuff. It seems to be something that's happening to a lot of people on the server, actually. Um, so yeah, I decided why not, but it turns out it doesn't matter if you have the wither going after you, you're still going to lose all your items even with that data pack. Uh, so that sucked. Um, but I was able to get my spare sword, which I keep in this chest. Uh, I don't have it right now because obviously this is the spare sword. Um, and I killed him off, but yeah, I lost a lot of stuff. But now we have a beacon at least, which is great, but I'm going to go take all the sugar cane, make it into paper, and get a lot of emeralds, uh, and hopefully get some enchantments and whatnot. Uh, so yeah, let's spend like the first episode just getting back to where we were. And if things couldn't be any worse, I don't know where my guy went. He, I don't, oh, something could have gone through here, I guess. Oh no. Oh, we just lost our villager. Oh dear. Oh my. This is not a good episode to start out with. Uh Please tell me we have the Silk Touch guy over here, because I need Silk Touch pickaxe and also, like, he- Oh, okay, so we can just make this guy into a zombie. He'll- Oh, he doesn't have a paper trade. This is delightful. Great start to an episode. Alright. Huh. <sighs> also, we don't have Elytra anymore, which is great, uh, but I think that Haxter has made a shop, so let's go get that at least. Hopefully, hopefully that will brighten our day. We still have this trident right here, though, uh, from my shop, so we're gonna take that, and we may or may not restock. I I, I don't know. I mean, like, we can, but it's good. it just takes a while to get tridents. Uh, but yeah, let's go get the Lytra. Also, shopping district district is becoming more of a shopping district, which is really cool. And I'm guessing this is the Lytra shop. Shop. Twenty diamonds. Oh, that's that's nothing. Oh, that's awesome. Perfect. Now we have our elytra back. Nice. Oh, and look like look at that. We've made our money back. Oh, oh yeah. That I, I wanted to see how many diamonds that was. Well, that's about twenty six diamonds actually, because yeah, I, we just bought this for twenty diamonds, and now we're at sixty four and six. Anyways, uh, so yeah, we just made back our money and then some, which is awesome. And yeah, I forgot I put all the sugar cane in here. <laughs> also, this little thing right here works great. I just have honey basically whenever I need it. Um, I don't, like, have large amounts of honey, but, like, you know, if I just am over at my base for a little bit, I'll have at least four blocks-ish worth of honey just laying around, which is really, really nice. Uh, anyways, I'm gonna try to get another mending villager, and this is probably new for you guys. I don't think I've shown this yet. Uh, yeah, we just have a lot of these guys sitting around, and most of them have bottle of enchanting, uh, but not all of them, as you can see, but... A lot of them do. Basically all of them do. Uh, but yeah, let's get some mending villagers, or a mending villager at the very least. And maybe today we'll work on a villager trading hall, but I do want to finish up our wither farm first. So uh, yeah, anyways, let's get let's get started with this mending guy. 
So I somehow ended up getting two villagers healed, like, like I mean, like they were a zombie villager, and then I like killed them. So like they'll give me good trades now if I just get a lectern, and I have two of them. This is perfect. <laughs> And I already have this guy at protection 4, but it's really, really pricey, so... Looks like I'm gonna have to repeat that whole process, which is not fun. But, oh well. <laughs> I messed up. Knockback 2 is locked in now. Um, basically what happened is I was getting, uh, getting apples so that I could, you know, do the whole thing again with golden apples. Um... And I was like, oh wait, I should lock in this trade. So I go, I come back and I lock in this trade and I look back and I'm like, wait, it's one emerald now? Yeah, it's knocked back too. He resized his trades without me knowing and I'm not happy. Hopefully it will be reset like once he gets turned into a zombie villager and then back, but I don't think that's how it works. So we might just have a knock back two guy now. <laughs> So this guy right here is going to stay as a knockback 2 guy, I can't really change that, uh, but this guy's amending, I finally got him, uh, but his trades are a little bit pricey, so I'm going to wait for night to fall uh, and make him into a zombie villager and then cure him and then hopefully his trades will go down, possibly, well they will go down, hopefully it'll go down to one emerald though. Uh, so yeah, let's do that. Alright, so I've officially cured them yet again, and this guy now is at one emerald for one mending book, which is perfect. Uh, but this guy, he's it's one emerald for the knockback, but I want to get this to one paper for one emerald so that we can get basically infinite, infinite emeralds again, because we have that zero tick farm right there. Uh, so yeah, I don't want to do it again though because it's so much work and it's also really, really scary because I've lost many villagers by doing this. So. Um, I don't know what I should do, actually. So, I am back here currently- oh, is did we- not fi I did not finish this. I'm gonna go finish this, first of all. Uh, but I'm back here, um, and even though we've lost all our stuff, and we don't have, like, full protection yet, uh, I'm still gonna come and work on this thing. Um, and, yeah, basically right now we need to go on a quartz mining session, uh, because- uh, we need daylight sensors and to make those need a lot of quartz and stuff like that uh, So that's the main goal right now um, But I'm gonna go finish this off I guess so it's starting to look really good I've gotten in some of these light uh, daylight sensors uh, Not all of them though. We have to go all the way to the end and it stops here as of right now I have to go out and gather more quartz uh, But I did get all the glass panes in which is really really good um, so we are able to now go all the way around, um, this whole perimeter, whatever you want to call it. Um, so now I think we have to just finish up the daylight sensors and, um, also put in the stairs that makes it so blazes don't actually see us and also so that the, uh, wither skeletons don't hurt us when we're killing them. I am nine short and I'm really, really sad. <laughs> Uh, I have to go get more wood and um, glass and also, oh wait, I felt like I have like warts just a sec, sorry, nether wart, whatever it's called, just a second ago. I must have thrown it on the ground somewhere. Uh, <laughs> Alright, well, back to our base we go, I guess. Well, I didn't record much of it, but I got it done in like an hour, maybe two. Uh, so yeah, basically we have slabs going on whoop we have slabs going on top of here now and also on bottom uh we have a stairs going across we have light sensors on the bottom right there uh and that goes all the way down which is awesome so now we just have to make the killing chamber but i actually have to go back to my base and get a few mat materials before i am able to do that oh also i made the killing chamber um so yeah that that's cool um yeah, so I've also been working on the roof, um, and it's looking alright so far. It hasn't been too hard because on the flooring, I had, you know, like, crouch and go slowly. This one, I can just go backwards like this, and it goes actually pretty nice and fast. Uh, for some reason, I'm just not having the patience today, and I don't want to do like be doing this, but, like, I'm also really close to finishing this farm up, and I'm really, really excited. Uh, so I'm just trying to get it done as fast as possible. So we're over here at the weather farm and I've made a lot of progress actually. We're halfway done with the full ceiling. Actually a tiny bit more because I did like a little extra over here. 
Uh, but that's just so when wither skeletons come over here to the killing chamber, they don't go actually up here and like walk around and do stuff that I don't want them to do. Uh, so yeah, it's looking pretty good so far, uh, but I'm actually going to go back to my base, not my starter base, but like my base base, uh, because I have Kenzie on the server, and if you guys don't remember, they made the reference photo uh, that is probably on the screen now, um, and yeah, they're just going to help me out with like the chandelier part, because I attempted in a creative world and I failed miserably, I can't speak. Uh, so yeah, let's let's go over there fast before we continue on with this video, all I wanted to say is that only 2.6% of my watch hours come from actual subscribers. Uh, so I just wanted to say if you're not subscribed yet, uh, please consider doing so. It helps out the channel a lot. Uh, even if you turn off notifications, like it it's helps out my channel way, way more than if you're not subscribed. So yeah, just consider doing that. Anyways, uh, back to the video. So we're back at the base and we have Kenzie here too. You can, you can say hi. Yeah, um, so she is building all of this. I, I haven't touched a single part of it, and it's already looking good. It's, it's, it's mostly just, like, half a circle, but, I mean, like, that's even hard for me. Um, <laughs> so I, I highly appreciate it. Um, but yeah, it's looking good so far. Um, and there's gonna be, like, water pouring out of it, and, like, I'm gonna make the area down here all nice and stuff, too. Um, yeah, hopefully it'll turn out really good, uh, and I'm excited. So, like, some people get nauseous when playing Minecraft, and Kenzie is one of those people. So they had to, like, dash off, but they finished, and it's looking amazing. Um, it's not lit up. We have to, like, get sea lanterns or something. Um, but it's looking pretty rad, so I am excited. Um, I don't know if I want it to be, like, this. Like, the, the water's flowing down, like, from the top. I don't know if I want that, but I can't even really see it from the down at the bottom. So we'll have to see it when we actually have lights in there. Uh, but it's looking phenomenal, and I'm super, super happy with it. Uh, so the plan here is to like connect it. We'll make it all pretty. It's not gonna be, you know, this mess. Uh, but yeah. Anyways, um, I think I'll probably go and finish the roof of my place over there. And then also, I have to show you guys something that I haven't shown you guys yet that I've been working on. Just like a little bit. It's actually been mostly the hackster that's been working on it. We're kind of like collabing. We're like doing it together. We're working together. Um, but if we head over to where our villagers are, I believe you guys already know about like this stuff. Um, and also I have a, a efficiency four guy back, so that's awesome. I love efficiency four. Um, but if we go over here, you can you'll notice that there's a beacon, and that is because uh, I'll take the fast way down. Um, we are making a nice little, um, trading hall. So I agreed that I'll do all the villager stuff and, uh, you know, just, like, do the redstone sort of bits, um, as long as the hexter makes this big hole and he made the hole. Uh, so now we gotta fill in our end of the bargain. Um, so I will be getting to that probably next episode maybe this episode I don't, I don't know how long this episode has been already depends if we have time um but yeah we'll definitely get started on this soon which is cool uh but i think i'll go finish my nether stuff uh before i finish this or get started on this <laughs> uh so kenzie's back over here uh and we decided that because these just look all gross and dark uh, we're gonna add end rods at the back, but I think Hackster is using his farm, his, like, mob farm, so basically nothing is spawning as of right now. Um, so yeah, we're gonna have to wait on that one. Um, also I added sea lanterns to the top, so it's a little bit more, uh, lit up in there. And then also, my new plan is to make multiple rooms coming off of here. My first plan was to, like, make more of these bubble things, but now we're underground. And also, like, I, I, it's really hard to make these things. Um, so, as of right now, I think that I'm going to make, like, little sections like this, and it's just going to be room, and I'll have redstone stuff so that this is, like, the, the, gets taken out of the way. And we'll make, like, a nice big hallway and whatnot. It'll be cool. Uh, but that way we don't have to, like, make this place really ugly with this big old sorting system. Because those are typically just gross redstone-y stuff that is cool, but like, it doesn't match, it doesn't match the style at all. Um, so yeah, 
that is our plan as of right now. That's probably going to take a while to get to, though. But anyways, I had time, like, in this video to go and work on the villager trading hall. I actually had, like, a ton of time. So this is what I have as of right now. Alright, so basically, if we come down here, pretend that this block was removed so that this is actually a villager. I'm going to pretend that I'm a villager. So, huh. I go down here. This is meant to separate the babies from the adults. I'm just going to place a torch so you can see a little bit better. Uh, so they'll flow into here, and if they're a baby, they'll fit into this little air block right here, and they won't go up. Once they grow, though, then they'll float up here. They'll go over, get pushed out here. Uh, they will not take any fall damage thanks to this water block. And then once I call the villagers by pressing that, uh, by powering this uh, dispenser, they'll be taken out and they will be going over here. Uh, they'll hit this block right here, and then they'll land here for me to pick their profession. Then once I press this button, they'll be shot off and go into their little holding chamber. And this button's gonna be hooked up to this dispenser so that I can call a new guy to come. So yeah, that's how it works, and I'm really happy. All right, so we have our first one done and polished, completed, I don't, I don't know. Um, so that's awesome. Only problem is it does take quite a bit of resources, so I think I have to go get more observers, uh, and then I also have to get more sticky pistons. No, I still have sticky pistons. Is that really just absorbers? Is that all I'm complaining about? I, ge I guess so. I guess my mind just made a big, big deal about me not having observers that it made me feel like I didn't have anything, but no, I think I, I, think I have enough for the most part. Uh, so yeah, let's make at least three more of these, I'd say. That way we can have efficiency five, mending, uh, unbreaking, and also protection four. I think that's a good good place to start. Um, and I will, we'll of course, make more, but that's I'm only going to make uh, two more, for, sorry, three more for today. I think that's another one done. I hope I didn't, oh, I didn't miss that piston, that's for sure. Um, so wait, that goes right there, got it. Um, Everything else I don't think I've missed. Yeah, I think I think we're good. Hopefully, because I'm gonna be re replicating this one, not this one, because this one's closer. Uh, so let's make two more. That is hopefully three, as long as nothing breaks and I did something wrong and the whole thing just explodes. I don't think I put TNT in there, but I I don't I don't know what I'm doing at this point. For all that I know, maybe I did put TNT in there and it's gonna explode. Ah, I, I don't know. I honestly can't wait, and we got a feather falling four guy. Uh, we only have three like chambers, whatever you want to call it, uh, but we're just gonna test it out because I'm I'm so excited. So if we press that button, and oh perfect, actually that got a little bit messed up, but that worked really well. Um, I'm sorry. So it did blow up. Oh my gosh. Oh wow, you can never be too careful with these things and that's exactly why this is a testing world. I hope that got some of you guys anyways, let's actually go back onto the server. This is like, I can, I can go into game mode creative right now. <laughs> this, this is just a total fake, I thought it was funny anyways. Okay, I think, I think, I'm not positive, oh there is missing string right there and now I have to replace this. Uh, but besides that, I think that I am good to go, hopefully. I, I, I'm not positive, but I'm pretty sure. So we're going to bring in some minecarts. We're going to release our villagers. Well, not release them, but like make them fall into that, like, you know, baby versus the, the filter thing that's up there. Um, and then, yeah, we'll figure it out from there. We'll, we'll try to get them their own okay this is confusing uh we'll try to get the villagers to get their own profession or uh books and whatnot so we want mending unbreaking uh protection and um efficiency that's what it is so i think we're good yeah let's go for it oh we should get a zombie first though let's do that Okay, well it, well, it was stressful and it was hard, but I finally got a zombie in here and I gave him an enderman head, which I find funny, and he also is carrying an arrow, so he should not despawn, and if he does, I will be deeply sad. Uh, but now we gotta go up here, 
and release our villagers so that they can fall down the pit and separate the zombies, the sorry, the adults from the children. Uh, so if we just make sure that they can't fall out really that much, hmm. they can just drop them and there they all go. So that should sort through them and then eventually they should come and yep, right there. They're all falling through. Perfect. Uh, so we just put a bunch of mine carts in here and we should be good to go. I'm hoping. So if we call one using this button. Nice. Oh, we need a lectern. That is something that we need. Let's go grab one of those. All right. So I got a lectern. Uh, we don't want that. So let's get out our axe. And let's try to get something good, preferably mending, but if we get like, I don't know, I'm breaking, silk touch, efficiency, whatever I said earlier, then I will be more than happy to take that instead. Alright, there we go. I'm breaking three. I am happy with that. Oh, I have to go get paper to lock in his trade and quite fast too before he loses it and restarts and whatnot. I think I should have paper over... No, I think I have to go over here and get some paper. Ugh, I was not prepared. <laughs> Alright, I have the paper. Please tell me that he hasn't... Okay, he's... Oh, I need more paper. I, I thought it was 15, not 24. Okay, let's go back. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Take that. Now, I do have to actually place in workstations here, which I also forgot about. I'm not really prepared. Um, I was just kind of, like, really excited to finally do this. Uh, but let's go make some more lecterns. There we go, I have four more lecterns, which I believe we placed right here. And now, if we send this guy- yeah, he does have it locked in. If we send this guy on his way, I believe it's this button. Yes, apparently it is. Yes! Oh, I actually did it. I'm really happy. Okay, let's go get golden apples and um, potion of weakness. And I believe that's literally right here. Yes, and yes. And now let's go make him into a zombie villager and then cure him up. There we go. So now we lift him back up. We take our splash potion of weakness and golden apple. And he should be good now. And let's just look, make sure everything looks good. So that's up. This should have been taken out of the way. Um, if we go jump up here. Yeah, so everything's looking good. I'm really, ha really, really, really happy I finally got around to doing this. Uh, so... I think I'll get more villagers a little bit later. I'm gonna um, get off for today. He's back, and on first time, first try, he's a one emerald trade already, so I'm really, really, really happy. Uh, and I have exactly one emerald just laying around and two books. So we can just go grab one of those and put it on our axe, because right now our axe is kind of lame. Uh, but that has successfully worked, so yeah, I'm actually gonna get off for today now. <laughs> Alright, so it's the next day, and um, me and the Hackster have actually been hard at work. So I believe we only had these four before. Uh, Hackster added two more, and then I just added these three, I believe. Um, so yeah, it's been going really well. So, so far we have looting three, efficiency five, silk touch protection four, mending, and I'm breaking three. And I have officially got an efficiency, uh, sorry, protection four on all of my. Uh, armor and also I'm breaking three which it did not have before which is really awesome uh, So I think we're basically back to where we were before we died and lost everything uh, Or we might actually be better off actually we need another trident uh, Before I can actually say that but yeah, we're doing really really good so far. So I'm really happy I'm gonna try to get a few more villagers though. Uh, we're s I could still get like uh, power five and um flame and stuff like that fire aspect too i don't think we have that on my on yeah i don't have that on my sword yet uh so let's go and do that well happy new year's guys um it is officially january 1st that i'm recording uh and on the countdown to new year's well about 30 minutes before um midnight i was working on getting 100 levels and i didn't actually get it uh before midnight but i did get it uh today after you know i went to bed and whatnot but anyways, we're at 100 levels, which I just thought was fun and that I should show off. Uh, I think this is the first time I've ever gone to 100 levels, so that's pretty cool. I'm actually going to go put some more en uh, ender pearls in here, though, just so that we have more than plenty. Better have more than less. But anyways, back to the villager breeder. Um, if we go down here, you can now see that I made a little nice water elevator, so 
that's a good way to come down and up and whatnot. Um, but if we go over here, I now have um, respiration and fire aspect. I don't think I showed those two earlier. Oh, what's this guy? Oh, feather falling. I also got that guy. I forgot. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool. But the thing that I'm really happy about is if we get a lot of paper, which I have here, and we'll take quite a bit. Uh, if we go to this guy, actually I'm going to throw that paper so I have a spot. Uh, he has an uh, emerald trade for one piece of paper, so does this guy, and so does, do so does this guy. So we have a really, really, really easy way of getting emeralds now, uh, which we did before, but now it's even more efficient. But anyways guys, that's all I have time for today, so if you like this video, then please consider giving it a like, and also consider subscribing if you want to see more from my channel. Uh, it really it incredibly helps out the channel, like you don't understand how much it helps out the channel. Uh, so yeah, please do that if you feel like it. Um, and yeah, just thank you guys so much for watching, and I really appreciate it. Um, also, I did this last video, uh, so stick around for the sponsor. I just have like a little thing I want to say. I just want to see how many of you actually stick around this far. So just like wait for the sponsor to go through really fast. Sticky Piston is a Minecraft server hosting company that offers amazing and powerful servers for a great price. Sticky Piston also has many different types of servers to choose from, such as vanilla, modded Minecraft, minigame maps, and more. They also have a great and easy way to control your server so you don't have to go through all these different web pages and whatnot. Um, it's also great for be beginners like myself at making your own server. Um, and if you do get confused with anything, uh, their customer support is great and they can help you with almost any problem that you could have. Uh, so there's a link in the description if you want to go check them out, and I highly suggest you should because I'm not, uh, they're not sponsoring me because, like, they're like, oh, I want to sponsor you. No, I actually want them to sponsor me because I think, I believe, I really love their product and I think that they're doing a great job with it. Um, so yeah, definitely go check them out. So yeah, go, go, ch go check out Sticky Pistons. They're, they're really cool. Uh, but I just wanted to say, um, that... If you have like, are you, if you're hearing this, then go down to the comics comment section and just type in hashtag Team Panda or just Panda. I don't know why I said Team Panda. Just type in hashtag Panda, and I just want to see how many people like did that. And if um, some person does it, like co replies to you and like just like is like, what are you saying or like question mark or something, just like respond with this face, and I'll also respond with this face, and yeah, it'll just be funny. So if you're if you are watching this right now, then just go down to the comments and put in uh, hashtag panda, and I will be very very happy if you do. Uh, but anyways, actually goodbye and thank you for watching and consider subscribing. Bye.